I'm enjoying the apoplexy over Bob Dylan getting the Nobel Prize for Literature. Writer and musician Dave Bedini says Dylan doesn't need the exposure and money that goes with the prize, but lots of real writers do. Others say Dylan's work isn't literature, it's too popular. This is the ever-adorable phony war between high and low art. It was immortalized in the Marx Brothers' A Night at the Opera. It's been at the heart of the CBC, always yearning to elevate the taste of the masses, but somehow winding up horrified with Don Cherry on Hockey Night in Canada. In fact, the award may make most sense as a sign of the end of the print era and a return to the oral tradition, which existed before the fairly recent rise of the book and especially the novel. Dylan is primarily a voice using words, as much chanted as sung. He makes no rigid distinction between the text and the sound. He's reassuring at this time because he reminds us that forms like poetry, theater, and song were there before literature as something found only in books and will outlast it. Maybe they should rename the award the Nobel Prize for Literature. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutman.